Hello, my name is Chris Ward and I'm with drinkablepoolwater.com and I want to be the first one to congratulate you on updating your swimming pool to the drinkable pool water system. I know that you're gonna love it and I know that you're gonna enjoy all the benefits that come with having a drinkable pool water system on your pool. This video, um, I'm going to cover with you all of the components of the system and we're gonna talk briefly about uh, how to maintain the system and how to maintain your pool as well. So uh, to start off, we're gonna start over here on the, uh, at the um, chamber. And so the first thing I wanna show you is this chamber right here. And really this is where most of the magic happens when it comes to the drinkable pool water system. What we've got here is a six bar double-sided titanium grid. This is where uh, the hydroxyl radicals are produced and the hydroxyl radicals are what uh, do all of the really high level sanitation of your pool water. Um, these uh, titanium bars should not have to be replaced. They should last forever under normal circumstances. Okay, so, so these bars should not have to be replaced. And um, the fact that we, these bars just for your information are the highest, by far have the highest level of uh, surface area of any other AOP or AEP system on the market. And so that's why, that's one of the reasons why this system works so well is it can produce so much uh, hydroxyl radicals um, with this grid. So anyway, you've got the titanium grid here. Right below this is the copper bars. And these copper bars are two to three times the surface area of most uh, copper bars on the market today. And so this is just one other area where the system shines. These copper bars are going to give off copper ions in the water. And um, these are what produce the residual killing effect in the water. They do wear out. They're like brake pads on your car. They're, they're meant to wear out over time. And they're rated for 10,000 hours of use, which uh, for most pools, that's gonna fall within the year and a half to two and a half year range. So roughly every two years, you'll need to replace these uh, copper bars. Um, pricing is available on our website or pricing is available through your certified installer at whatever local area you're in. Um, so within this chamber, you have both the titanium grid that generates the hydroxyl radicals and you've got the copper bars which generate the copper ions. And then right next to it, we have the high exposure time ultraviolet light chamber. This is where the water passes through is, and is exposed to the ultraviolet light, which basically uh, damages all of the bio threats in the water at the DNA level, preventing them from being able to reproduce, which is an important component. Uh, so, so far we've got titanium hydroxyl radical production, copper ionization, high exposure time ultraviolet light. These three things working together sanitize your pool really, really well. You take away one of these components and the efficacy of the system drops. Drinkable pool water system has all three of these uh, as standard. The next thing we've got to cover is the filter itself. Now this from the outside looks like a standard sand filter, but it's actually a three-stage activated glass filter um, and it's full of Dr. Dr. Dryden's AFM activated filter media not to be confused with Dr. Dryden's Activate Media, completely different uh, media. And AFM is a, a mandatory component of a drinkable pool water system. So um, inside here is not sand, it's actually three-stage activated glass, but the function of this works the same uh, as a sand filter. So backwashing and rinsing this um, is gonna be the same as backwashing and rinsing a sand filter. So that should be pretty simple. Um, the only difference is that with a glass filter, you probably will not need to backwash weekly. It's probably going to be more like every three to four weeks. Um, obviously, that may be a little bit different if you have storms or something move through the area that requires you, uh, or that fills the filter up and requires you to backwash it earlier. But under normal usage, uh, probably every three to four weeks, you backwash uh, the glass filter. Also, when you backwash the glass filter, you're not going to have to backwash as long as you normally do with a sand filter because the glass media will tend to clean a lot easier than the sand does. Um, so anyway, now we've got titanium 
grid for hydroxyl radical production. We've got the copper bars for copper ionization. We've got the high exposure time ultraviolet light tube, and we've got the three-stage activated glass filter. The last thing I want to talk to you about is the control panel. Okay, so first of all on the control panel you have the UV light on and off switch, so you can just turn the UV on and off right here. You have two other on and off switches along the side here, so for the blue numbers, the oxygen, you've got the on and off switch here. For the copper, the red numbers, you've got the on and off switch here. So just know that you can uh, turn each of these components on or off uh, independent of one another. Also, underneath you've got the main power button which you can turn off all three of them at the same time just underneath here. So um, that's important because a lot of AOP systems out there um, don't give you the option of uh, defining exactly which components you want running at a, at a time. And the reason that's important, well there's several reasons, but one of the main reasons is that especially on new pools when you're, you know, uh, using chemicals to cure the liner, the new liner, or using chemicals to cure the new plaster, you may, you'll be running this system with only the UV on and not the uh, uh, copper and titanium bars uh, turned on during that curing process. So that, that, that's important. Um, so let's talk about the control panel a little bit here. The blue number up top is the uh, hydroxyl radical production. And down here below, you've got a little bit of a cheat sheet letting you know um, where this needs to be. This is saying two amps. What we're really shooting for on the blue number is somewhere between 1.5 and 2.5 is the range that you're shooting for. This number is actually a little bit low. We've just tested the water in this new uh, this uh, pool with a new pool liner. And the hardness is actually at about 50. We're gonna raise that up. Um, we're gonna put some calcium in there and raise that number up to get this number um, more accurate. But uh, just know that if, if that number is low when you first crank up, it's usually due to the fact that the hardness level in the pool is not within range uh, as indicated on the cheat sheet that's included in the box. Okay, so hydroxyl radicals, what you're shooting for is 1.5 to 2.5. And in order to hit that number accurately over time, you need to make sure that the hardness level in the water is correct based on the cheat sheet in your, uh, that came with the system. The red number um, is the copper ionizations, uh, excuse me, the copper ionization. And what we're shooting for there is two to 400 milliamps. So this is rated in milliamps. And um, the maximum you want is 400, but we have learned over time of using this system that um, anywhere from two to 400 milliamps is generally gonna be producing enough uh, ions uh, to, to give you the residual killing effect that you need. One thing I wanna, well, first of all, the, the blue number, you can change with this dosing knob here. You can turn it uh, down and you can turn it up. Right now we've got it all the way up, but because the water hardness is not where we need it, it's not, it's not raising, but once we raise the water hardness, this number will go up. Uh, the ion dosing is the same. You can change the red number by turning this up and down. This is a way to get really um, uh, specific about the number that you want. You can raise it just a tiny amount or lower it just a tiny amount with this dosing knob. The ionic program, what this is, um, this is how you define how much uh, charge you want to send to the copper bars based on time. So for example, at 100%, it's gonna send millivolts to the copper bar 100% of the time that the pump is running. Okay, but if let's just say that you wanted to take the amount of ionization that you're putting into the pool and cut it by half, you could do that by simply turning this down to 50%. And th what that's gonna do is, is 50% of the time that the pump is running, it's gonna be uh, giving a millivolt uh, or sending millivolt amps to the copper bars just for 50% of the time and not 100% of the time, regardless of what your ion dosing is set at. It'll only be giving that amount of ion dosing 50% of the time. So that's just a easy way to remember. So the uh, ionic program allows you to adjust the copper ions going into the water in large numbers and the ionic dosing allows you to dial it in a little bit more specific in smaller numbers.
So that's it for this video covering the components of the system. I'm gonna shoot another video explaining how to maintain the system and how to maintain your pool. Thanks a lot.